For the Space Otter Charlie review, I live stream the game. For more live stream games and reviews, check out Rogue Media Gaming or Rocket V03 on Twitch. We otter be able to explore without worrying about going adrift. <laughs> the otter puns. Humans left Earth quite some time ago. Everything is peaceful. It's just that somehow the temperature keeps rising. Now, Space Otter Charlie and his crew have set off to explore the universe for a cooler new home. Oh, look at that cute otter hair. Wait, this better not awaken anything in me. Mm. Space Otter Charlie is a point and click platforming action 2D shooter that has you bouncing off walls in zero G in order to explore derelict spacecrafts long abandoned by the previous human inhabitants. You'll have to find blueprints for new devices in order to solve the puzzles located aboard and defeat the bosses that lie ahead. You had your chance to turn back. Nah, I shall destroy ye. Now I shall destroy you. <laughs> they don't change the eye. Space Otter Charlie is built upon solid game design, with each main mission providing a new weapon and a boss to defeat with that weapon. Side missions help you acquire materials to upgrade yourself, and the puzzles are pretty straightforward. Space Otter Charlie touts itself as a game for all ages, and the simple design allows this to be the case. This laser, by the way. Okay, hold on. Look at look at these things. They look like nipples. They look like straight up nipples on like a boob. I guess you could call them booby traps. <laughs> Space Otter Charlie is hilarious as well. It's chock full of otter puns, as well as educational facts about them. This is refreshing for everyone, allowing you to laugh while you learn. Are you sure? Really ready to return the wrath? Yes, let's get out of here. <laughs> but there are some things that Space Otter Charlie might need to improve. While the gameplay ramps up in difficulty while you play, most of it is simple. This makes the game approachable by all, but less of a challenge to hardened gamers. The graphics are adorable, However, they're also simple in design, with Space Otter Charlie getting rid of the parts you collect on screen by just making them grow smaller till they disappear. Oh, look at the otters. Their feet are scary. From the, the head to the tail, cute, but then they have these huge like <laughs> feet coming out. Oh my god. There are also some game glitches baked into Space Otter Charlie. Going through doors or by flying near key accesses, you're magnetically drawn towards those key points, even when you don't have the required items. And if you're not careful, you can get sucked up into a loop. Aww, he's covered in trash and he has all plastic on around his neck. Aww, poor Wadsworth. To be honest, Wadsworth's turtle isn't great at his job, but he sure loves trash and nobody else wanted to be in charge of cleanup. He's into BDSO. Just look at him. Overall, Space Otter Charlie was an adorable experience filled with educational facts about otters and strange computers trying to get rid of rodents. Security systems online. Rodent elimination protocols engaged. Oh, because of the rats. Get rid of the rats. Space Otter Charlie does a great job of rewarding those who 100% levels and love to collect items. From upgrading your gadgets to rescuing more sea creatures with energy orbs, Space Otter Charlie is chock full of heart and enthusiasm for marine biology, with a focus on otters. Otta, did you see that? I finally took down that overgrown artificial unintelligence. <laughs> Space Otter Charlie is a wonderfully well-designed game that hides the fact that you're learning along the way. And because of that, I'm giving Space Otter Charlie an 8.5 out of 10. Space Otter Charlie was developed by Wayward Distractions and published by the Quantum Astrophysics Guild. It is available for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, Linux, and Macintosh operating systems. Space Otter Charlie was played on a PC and a review code was provided for this report. Until next time, play like a rogue. Okay, so I'm killing ghosts now. <laughs> they remind me of the Scooby-Doo, like, like, uh, what's the freaking Scooby-Doo ghost? The haunted guy who's green and he like goes, ah! that kind of laugh. All right, I'm looking it up. I'm looking this guy up. I think it's the space kook. Yes, <laughs> it's the space kook. No, <laughs>